Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Let's go for a little walk. It is snowing right now in April. That's pretty wild. And that's as my pears and apples are starting to flower. One will do. Maybe this. Oh, okay. Alright, as you could probably tell from the previous clip, this is very well-rotted wood. And you, ideally you use well-rotted wood for hugel culture if you intend on using it right away. If you don't mind waiting a year or two to letting it all rot down, you can use fresh stuff as well. Uh, you could still plant stuff into it, you would just have to cap it off with soil and then plant certain things in it, but you're not really going to go crops in it until it starts rotting down. Now this process has been expedited because this is already rotted down, like some of these things are just completely crumbly you could just break it apart with your fingers and that's a pretty you know telltale sign that it's all rotted away usually it's very soft sometimes you can even squish it and you'll see the water coming right out of it and that's exactly you know what you want because that basically means it's just going to act like a sponge that's and that's really the intended goal for all of this i also like to use the moss back there the moss makes for a great way to plug up these drainage holes here. So I'll start with that. Now this moss will of course also soak up a bunch of water as well. So all this wood, all of these, all of this moss, it's all going to contribute to essentially being a sponge for water over the course of the, well, the warmer season where water is going to be more scarce. All right, just like that. If you're going to do this, I'd recommend that you wear gloves. It's easier for me to handle the camera, that's why I'm not. Okay, that's, so that's the base laid down. I'm gonna use some of these bigger chunks, lay those in the bottom. I'd like to get a pretty easy, even covering here. Like that. You can go as tall as you want on this. You can just keep piling it on. But I know that my plant that I plan on putting in here is actually pretty large. So I have to keep a little bit of space in here to still be able to fit it. In fact, I think that actually might be too much for me. But for you, you can go as tall as you want, depending on what you're planting in there. All right, now time to throw some extra bits and bobs in there. I'm going to kind of stuff up the holes with some of these extra pieces of wood. This is something I've been doing on a lot of my pots recently because it is just such a great way to save on potting soil. But I also really like the fact that this is basically going to act as a sponge and going to soak itself full of water and just act as an extra water reserve all right so i think that is pretty good all right but now me being me i'm going to do a little bit of extra to this i'm just going to add a little bit of leaf mold to this to kind of put a cap on this also helps to fill in the holes and things like that more material to prevent some of these air pockets 
something like that is fine. Personally, I like the garden with biochar, charcoal. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the bottom. Ideally, this is charged. I'll have to make a separate video on that. Just like that. I've got some coffee grounds. Why not add a couple scoops of that? Like so. All right, got all kinds of things that I can add here. Add some eggshells. We had some carrots for dinner yesterday. Why not? Plop that in there. Got some banana peels. Why not? Plop those in there. Kind of like to arrange them a little bit. Now you might be wondering, oh, you're adding all those food scraps in there. That's never going to decompose. Well, there's composting worms in my soil. They always seem to find our way in there no matter what as well. So this will be gone in really no time flat and that'll just be more nutrients for the plant that I put in here. I've been doing this for years and it's never been an issue. Mostly because I know what will happen at this point. So don't worry about that. The only thing I am going to do at this point is cap it off some more leaf mold. There's some roots in there. That's not a big deal. All decompose. Just like that will be fine. And now this is ready to get planted into. Obviously you don't have to add this much if you need more space. You can add more if you need, if it's just like a little seedling. But all that wood, all the, this organic material is going to act as a, as a sponge, as I've said before. It's just a great way to save on potting soil and to make it really easily through the summer when water isn't as plentiful. And of course, eventually this will just become your regular soil that will be broken down at some point. But until then, this is a great way to save on your soil. So I really appreciate it, all of you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer. This whiskey barrel here is potted the exact same way. It is halfway filled up with rotted, decomposed logs, and it saved me so much potting soil. And then the moss makes a great mulch as well. Although I have it on top of my regular mulch. And this is a Loganberry, in case you're wondering. A cross between a raspberry and a blackberry.